On the one hand, romantic love leads us out of ourselves, out of our self-centeredness, and into a bigger life where we express more caring for others than we would have otherwise. On the other hand, in dealing with a breakup, a separation or a divorce, it can be very painful and it can have long-term emotional and financial consequences, especially if there's children involved. However, even if the relationship falls apart eventually, or the couple go their separate ways, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with the relationship. Perhaps it just has served its purpose. Unfortunately, modern society has a way of almost punishing people when the relationship ends, and it financially can have a huge impact. From an angle of illusions, romantic love may not be an illusion, but we can have illusions about it. We can go from feeling starry-eyed about it, which is probably not particularly realistic, and thinking that this is going to be the ultimate source of our happiness. Or when going through a divorce, we can become very bitter and hard-eyed about it, which is not particularly realistic either. When you go into the dissolution stage, we can begin to doubt not only romantic love, but members of the opposite gender and whether any of them are any good and so we go from reacting to this one particular partner and what they are doing and have done and decide no members of the opposite gender can be trusted and don't want anything to do with any of them ever again and can swing between one extreme to the other. We get into these emotional illusions where we swing from being overly optimistic to being overly pessimistic and neither of us giving us a healthy perspective on what's really going on. Because even though a relationship has ended or is coming to an end in the form it was, it doesn't mean it can't take on another form which can also be useful and beneficial. And it doesn't mean that everything that went before suddenly becomes meaningless. And if we start telling ourselves like, oh, they never loved me anyway and all of that, we don't know that any of that's true. And if we see things through the eye of bitterness that arises when something's ending, it can give us a very distorted perspective. We're trying to take the value of something which did actually have value. And for one thing, it helped us to develop ourselves, put our attention on somebody else. And to the extent that we cared about another person and were concerned about their well-being, to that extent we grew. We became a kinder and wiser person and more concerned about the needs of others. And that's always a good thing. So we have grown and developed from the relationship no matter how it ends, even if it ends in a way we hadn't planned in the beginning.